Hey, what's up, Cam? Hope you're having a good day, man. Uh, just was able to get this uh, Sequoia outside and uh, do a quick video for you. Um, I, I think I mentioned recently mentioned that we just moved our business from uh, where we've been for 11 years to a new location. So I haven't really found all my good spots for shade yet. So I'm actually at a racetrack uh, under the awning. So um, might be a little noisy, but I think this will get the job done. So let me uh, spin this camera around and I'll walk you around it. Uh, so overall, the car's in great shape. A few little minor, minor things that I'll point out along the way. And uh, we'll start up here at the front bumper. There's a few little minor spots that have been touched up at some point. Again, these are very minor, uh, but they are there nonetheless. Uh, the front bumper looks to be in great shape. We do have uh, PPF starting on the fender right here. Uh, so paint protection film, obviously plastic, runs through the fender. Same thing on the hood. Hood's in great shape. That PPF has done its job. There's not a bunch of rock chips and whatnot up here. It looks to be in really nice condition. Uh, another thing, if you've been looking at Sequoias or you're familiar, um, it's pretty common to see this little rubber molding deteriorate over time, separate and come apart. Uh, this one is 100% fully intact, as you can see, all the way across. So nothing to really show here uh, on this side. Uh, there's a good look down the side of the car. It's in great shape. There's no damage, no dents, no none of that. Few little minor spots on these claddings. You got one right there. This one's been touched up. And then I'm gonna make my way down the side of this thing for you. Sorry. Body's in really nice shape. There's a good shot of the panels for you. A few little minor spots right here on these door edges that have also been touched up. Two of them there. Uh, but outside of that, this side of the car looks great. Nice and clean. Rear bumper is in great shape. Lift gate is in great shape. Your plaque right here, uh, sometimes these things can get really chipped up. Uh, this thing looks to be in great shape. Spoiler and back of the roof looks in good shape. Uh, this is just, this is Toyota factory stuff that has like a Velcro bottom. This comes straight off if you wanted it to come off, but it's done its job. It's protected the carpet all back here. Uh, so as you see, the seats are up, so we'll fold them down. And I got a... The, uh, the extender to allow you to extend to both seats when shipping or when uh, moving something was stuck down and I didn't realize it. So the seat hit that and that's the alarm you heard. So we'll do this again. And then we will come back up.
All right. All the panels back here, really good shape, really nothing to talk about. Not all beat up, chewed up, things like that. Uh, power closing lift gate. All right, so we'll move on to the passenger side. Really nice shape down here as well. It'll be a good shot of the hood. Uh, again, these few spots right here, right here, this is your paint protection film that you're seeing right there. We'll get up on the roof in just a second. The side of the car looks really nice here. It's a good shot of it. Step bar is in good shape. Uh, so where was that spot that I had? Okay, yeah, there's two little spots right here on this rear door. You've got two right here. Uh, where was that other one? Oh, yeah, right here on this cladding. Again, that's been touched up. And then one more right here because runs about that long. but uh, it has been touched up. So Again, I apologize for the noise. Uh, I've got to find a better spot that has better shade, but I had to get this done right now. So uh, let's do this wheel. This is right rear and it is in good shape. There's your tread depth on your tires. Plenty of life left. This right front wheel has just some marking going on. It's not really curbing, it's just some marking. I don't know if there were wheel weights there at one point. All these tires are matching, all about the same tread depth. One of these wheels. Okay, this is the wheel that has been curbed. And you can see right here. For perspective, it's very minor, but it is there. And there's your tread depth on that tire. So we'll move back on over here. This wheel's in great shape. Nothing to really talk about there. Again, same Yokohama tire, same tread depth. All right, let's spin around to the front. This interior is in really great, good shape. Uh, really not much to say about it, honestly. I went through it again before I did this video. Lumbars look to be in great shape. Seat plastics. Door panels. I'm trying to beat the sun before it creeps over. All right, so right front window. And seat moves forward, moves backward. Reclines, comes up. Door panels in great shape. Window. And this is just your window shade that obviously can come down at any time. I like to leave them off so people can just see them. Jams are in really good shape. Back here looks, you know, like it hasn't been sat in much. Let's take a look at this third row. Same thing for the third row. 
not much to talk about. You have your rear window shades back there as well. All right, let's get this back up. Try to do all this one-handed here. Uh, carpet's in great shape. Back of the console. Looks great. Uh, we gotta get back over here to... Hold on. Oh, it's locked. Uh, forget how to unlock this. Alright, I'll have to mess with that in a minute. It does work, it's just locked. Cup holder. As you see, you see the little lock on this, on this uh, screen. It's just a feature so that whoever is in the back uh, can't touch it, so. Uh, but actually, let me try to unsync. There we go. Now we're talking. So you see it toggles between all the settings. gonna want that back down on low because it is hot as you know what all right uh, DVD player I do not have a DVD to check this but it does power on and it looks like it's you know ready to ready to work so um, yeah I apologize that I don't have a DVD to do that so power off and this feels whoever installed this, I can tell you from seeing a lot of these over the years, it's in, whoever installed this did a good job installing it. That's where the DVD goes. Um, so, moving along, carpet, good shape. All right, door panel. window jams are in great shape plastics not all chewed up beat up back of the seats are in good condition Good shot of the headliner. All right. Door panel. Great shape here. Jams are in great shape. Lumbar is in great shape. Show you what we're gonna do here with that in just a second. Seats in fantastic condition. Maybe a little old lady drove this thing. Console, same thing. Uh, so window. And we'll do the right front window from the driver switch. Right rear. And left rear. All right, so let me lift the carpet here for you. Nice shape down here. These are brand new mats. Uh, so this is just a scanner, and what I'm going to do is plug this in so you can see that all the monitors that monitor the uh, emission system so any any kind of light that you would get check engine light related uh, these monitors are going to be responsible for monitoring that and uh, if there was a problem you would see that even without any lights being on on the dash uh, you would see that back here where these monitors are so and as you see we have nine monitors all of which are green, which means it is ready to test. 
and this will pass emissions uh, regardless of where it needs to be tested. So nothing to worry about there. All right. Uh, let me get my tag, excuse me. All right. Console. You know, a lot of times you'll see on these Sequoias, this gets chewed up, gouged up, etc. It's in really nice shape. There is one little issue. I wouldn't even call it an issue, but I'll show you that in just one second. So. Let's go, FM. volume control works on the steering wheel. So good to go there. Here's your backup camera. Nice and clear. Works fine. Uh, we're going to resync this air and we are going to go back to just on us and get it up going here a little bit. All right, so rear window. All good there the sunroof is tilted up I'm gonna tilt it down we'll slide it back all right one touch it forward all right so we're good to go there I'm trying to think out what else I can show uh, steering wheel telescoping so coming out to me going in coming up coming down blinkers windshield wipers uh, let me do this all right so the mirrors are out as you see we'll power fold them in All right, driver's side is in as well, and we'll power fold them out. And a turn signal works in the mirror. Turn signal works in the mirror. There's no way for me to show you the blind spot works, obviously, because I don't have anybody to test it, but it does work. You can watch, I can turn it on and off for you. There it's on. There you go, so no issues there. Heated seats do turn on. Obviously not gonna test that out today. It's 97 degrees here and uh, don't wanna deal with that. Uh, so the one flaw I would say about here on the inside is this plastic trim right here by the shifter. You can see it's just, it's, you know, I don't know if it's just gotten hot or somebody put something on it that caused it to kind of peel up a little bit there, but you've got from about right here all the way down on this edge to about right here and it kind of works its way right up here now if you don't mess with it I don't see it coming off um, but you know it's it's very minor and um, you know it's the only spot right there and then on this side as well you can see where it's kind of starting to do that as well and again I've really never seen that before so I don't know what that is um, and if I, I feel like somebody had to spill something on that or put something on it to do that but who knows, I'd be guessing. So that's it. Uh, well, let me show you the undercarriage real quick. Uh, let me get my phone off this mount. There's your spare. New tire, nice and clean under there, no rust. Same thing up here, nice and clean, how you want it to look. Yeah, so 
that's it. Um, if there's anything I missed or any other questions you might have, please feel free to let me, let, let me know. And uh, I will have this link over to you here shortly. And uh, we'll touch base about moving forward. Talk to you soon, Cam.